hanging. 35, 36 years that thing had been gone. Wow. And he just went up and found it in his attic. Gene Brown Jr. still can't believe his long lost wallet reappeared after all this time. I knew I had it in my pocket when I went up and when I come out it was gone. And I knew it was in that attic, but I couldn't find it. It was either 1976 or 77 when Gene saw it last. He was at a job site installing some pipes in the attic of this house in Spring Hill when it vanished. I thought I kicked it down into the wall because we searched and searched and we couldn't find it. So I figured it went down in the wall. Well, I can't go in there and tear somebody's wall out to find a wallet. So I said, well, that's it. It's history. Last week, Gene got a call from the man who now lives at the house. Sean Wyckoff was upstairs messing with an antenna when he saw the black object. Sean called all the numbers in the wallet, but they were either disconnected or dead. He did a quick internet search and found Gene's address in Paola, Kansas. This guy, 35, 36 years later, he goes up there and looks down and there it is. <laughs> Just bang, right out in the open, it's here. And he was decent enough to, to hunt me up and give it back to me. Gene says there was no money in the wallet. What was still inside of it was worth more than cash to him. His original draft card, old photos from his service in the Navy, and a picture of his sweetheart he's happy to call his wife 40 years later. We weren't able to talk to Sean today about his good deed because he was at work. But Gene says what Sean did shows the true meaning of kindness. I never, ever dreamed that I would ever see that billfold again. Unless that house got wiped out by a tornado and somebody found it laying out on the road or something. That was a total shock. The guy was decent enough. Like I said, he could have just pitched it in the trash, and he didn't. Mm -hmm. You know, he just, he's a decent human being.